Cassie. So today I'm going to be talking about something that I have seen a lot recently that is very popular um, on social media and I've seen like at the gym and stuff and that is waist trainers. Um, if you don't know what a waist trainer is, I'll put a picture of it on the screen right here. So now that you know what a waist trainer looks like, I'm going to tell you the reasons for why people use them and why I think it's so important that I had to make a video on this because they might not be exactly what everyone thinks they are. They might do a lot of bad things. So I'm here to tell you the good and the bad and what you're actually doing to your body by using a waist trainer. So what a waist trainer is supposed to do is make your waist smaller. Um, it's supposed to just tighten up everything basically and get you a more hourglass figure that a lot of people would like to have. So I actually did a lot of research, I watched videos, I looked up facts online on reliable websites and everything about all the goods and the bads of waist trainers and what they can do to your body in the short term and long term. So this is what I'm here to tell you right now. So I'm going to tell you right now, starting off on a good note, all the pros to wearing a waist trainer, um, but then it ties in with a lot of cons that I will get to later in this video. So the first pro of this is that as you're wearing it, since it is very stiff and like just tight on your body, it does improve posture. So you are standing up a little bit straighter, you're not going to slouch because then you can't really breathe and then it gets even more tight and so it does help to stand you straight up. Another thing to this is it does restrict how much you eat. If you are trying to eat a little bit less or not overeat or something like that, it does restrict how much you eat because obviously if you eat too much your stomach goes out and if your stomach goes out and you already have this really tight thing on then you will not be able to breathe so you won't eat as much. The last pro I could find out of every single place I looked online to find facts about waist trainers is that it does make your waist slimmer um, over the long term if you wear it um, it's recommended for like results to wear it four hours every day um, then it does make your waist smaller in the long term um, and that in the short term if you wear it let's just say for a night out or something and you're wearing like a tight dress that you don't want to see little rolls on your stomach or whatever it is or you know you want a flatter stomach that day or something it does give that effect it does look like you have more of a waist and a smaller stomach while you're wearing it so now on to the huge list of cons about the negative effects that waist trainers can have on your body in the short and long term. Um, the first thing I found that I think is very important is that if you wear this occasionally enough, it will decrease core strength because it's this thing that is on your body. It's making you stand up straight. It's making you stabilized and you're not, your body's kind of relying on that instead of your actual muscles and strength in your core to hold you up and stabilize you. So your body starts relying on that and I it, like that could lead to a lot of other issues because if the rest of your body is strong let's say then you know your core is decreasing in strength that's kind of it's your core it's what's in the middle it's what makes everything else stronger and work the way they should and so if your core is not strong and everything else is that could lead to a lot of negative things that I'm not going to go into right now but I hope you guys can see how bad that could actually be. And then another thing to kind of go along with that is people work out with waist trainers on. They think that it will help them to gain more muscle and get more toned and they'll sweat more and so it'll be better for them while working out. And there are two very negative things that could happen if you work out with a waist trainer on. The first is obvious that it is way harder to breathe while you have a waist trainer on. And Breathing is very important during a workout to really control your breathing, to take in a lot of oxygen, 
and just breathing right and breathing enough and with a waist trainer on that will not be possible. So one, you will not get a good workout in. You will not get the best results that you could get without it on because you're not going to be breathing enough. You're going to be out of breath and you'll think you're tired, but it's just because you can't breathe. It's not because you're actually working out more or, you know, gaining more muscle or something. So you will get way better results if you can breathe during a workout. Let's just say that. And then another kind of negative thing that might affect you, it might not, it's not super bad but some people it might bug them that you know this thing is on your body you're obviously gonna sweat a lot and there's gonna be a lot of sweat right where it is and so it could increase back acne as well which is a problem for a lot of people so don't wear it while working out it just it's not good man oh and then the other thing with working out with it on is because you can't breathe well so you're gonna be breathing very fast and not in your normal way of breathing and if you're working out a lot it could definitely cause you to pass out that's another thing you might think oh that won't happen like whatever but if you're not getting in enough oxygen and you're working out you're moving your body around you could definitely faint so that's just something to keep in mind like I don't think anybody likes passing out at the gym so I would just say to not work out with it on. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now on to the very, very serious negative effects this can have all in the long term on your body. All the stuff I mentioned before, it's very serious, but this stuff, listen to me, please listen to me, because this will change your mind on using a waist trainer, I guarantee it. Let's just think of it in just a factual logical way right now if you're putting something on your waist and compressing it to a very very small size which it wasn't before think of every single organ inside your stomach like it's all kind of filling up your stomach yeah you might have like you could lose some fat or something and it wouldn't change like the way your organs are they'd still have room to be there but I mean, if you're compressing your waist, like if you're actually using this to make your waist visibly like way smaller, then think of like where are your organs gonna go? Like they're already in a set place there and there's not just like empty room all in your stomach. Like please, please keep that in mind that you do not have just space in your stomach to where your organs are gonna like form and move and there won't be any problems. So over the long term of wearing a waist trainer, this could compress your bladder, your lungs, your kidneys, your ribs, everything in the middle of you. It will compress, especially if you do it enough and for a long period of time, it compresses all that. And don't be stupid. You know that's not something right. That is not a natural thing to happen. Nobody chooses like, hey, I'm going to compress my lungs today. No, nobody would choose to do that. It's not something that is good for your body. Please do not do this to yourself. So what's happened with people with waist trainers on, they have crushed their ribs, fractured them. They have crushed their organs and just compressed them to the point where they don't have anywhere else to go. They have nothing else to do. They're just messed up at this point. And there's not really a way to like reverse this. You can't uncompress something like maybe over a long, long period of time, but you've already done enough damage by wearing this for months or years or however long, you know, you've been seriously wearing a waist trainer. It will do these things to your body. Do not take this lightly. Don't think, oh yeah, I'll never get to that point where it'll fracture a rib. You could, like, do not underestimate this. Please, I'm telling you, I have, oh, I'm very, oh, I'm very passionate about this right now. It's, it's, I just think it's so stupid. Do not ever. No, 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 don't do it. Please, pinky promise me right now. So that's kind of it for this video, but I just really want you guys to know that these things can actually happen. It's not just all good and dandy hearing, oh wow, this product can make my waist smaller and give me, you know, the body I've always wanted. You can't look at something like that that is definitely not natural. You can't look at that product and think, oh, there's nothing negative about it. Because there is. You, like, the main point I want to make here 
is do your research on especially anything having to do with your body and your health, what you're even putting in your body, like taking diet pills or something. Don't just read on the bottle like, can make you lose three pounds a week and blah blah blah. Do not just say, oh okay, this is good for me then, this is cool. Do your research and don't just look at the back of the bottle and read ingredients and think, okay, well, there's a couple I don't recognize, but that's okay. No. Look them up. Look up the facts. See what you're putting in your body. With this product, this is kind of... It's not technically, you're not like consuming it, obviously, but it does still affect the insides of your body. Like I said, your organs and ribs and everything. So seriously do your research because this was something that I actually considered. I was about to buy one because I was like, this is cool. I see everyone wearing it. They just seem to, I don't know, really enjoy it. And it's making their waist smaller. And like, I don't have a small waist. I Like my waist is kind of like that. And so I thought, oh, that would be kind of cool to just have like a little bit of a little curve, you know? And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to look up a couple little quick facts about it just to make sure like the one to get or like what this does to my body, you know? And it, like the first thing I read was like, could damage organs, could do all this stuff to you, compresses everything, you can't breathe. And <laughs> I was like, yeah, maybe I should like double check on this and actually read a lot about it. And I mean, you saw the things I found. You heard that right now from me. And they are facts. They're not something I just made up and I think could happen. No, they're facts about what has happened. Not just in rare cases, but if you wear it enough, it will happen to you. So that's it for today. I hope you guys learned something about waist trainers maybe you haven't heard before. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any more facts that I did not say about waist trainers, either a pro or a con to it, then leave a comment down below. Yeah, so anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will try to be posting videos a little more often. So that's it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye!